Hi there, this is Ria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ria Super Mama. Uh, I am back to give you a first look of the new limited edition Disney Juju B collaboration, The Nightmare Before Christmas. So it's just in time for Halloween. It's releasing uh, this October, October 22nd, uh, 2020. And um, I'm so excited to give you a first look of the bags that I received as part of the Juju B creative crew. Um, I have here a uh, Juju B, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, B packed, and I also have a uh, B Quick in uh, in the same print. So in this video, I will uh, go through the different features of both bag styles, and um, after that, let's do a close up of the print. There's so many details in uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas print that you will. Um, that you will see like there's uh, lots of different characters, lots of different details that you would remember from uh, Tim Burton's uh, movie. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be so, so exciting, so exciting. I know um, so many uh, pink ladies um, and uh, Disney fans have been waiting for this collaboration for a long time. Uh, and then um, also at, um, after we do a close-up of the print um, and the lining, uh, at the end of the video, I'll do a quick slideshow of uh, different prints, Jujube prints, compared to uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's start. So let's start first with uh, the smaller bag style. This is a Jujube Be Quick in the new Disney Jujube print collaboration, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And um, this size is a, it's basically a pouch. Um, it's a great size for diapering essentials. When I was packing for my baby, uh, when she was in diapers, I always used a Be Quick as a diaper clutch. It fits um, a couple of diapers, wipes, and um, uh, diaper cream and a couple of like plastic baggies and um, and then I leave all the rest of the diapers in the diaper bag but when I go to change my baby I just grab uh, the be quick from uh, the diaper bag and take it to um, the restroom uh, to change my baby so it's a good size for that and later on um, once your baby's out of diapers uh, you can use this be quick as a um, as a, a, a potty training uh, clutch. So it also fits a folding potty seat, uh, toilet seat covers like Clorox wipes, uh, flushable wipes. So it's, uh, it's good for that as well. It's so versatile. Um, I could think of so many uses for the Be Quick. It's a versatile style. The size is really great. Um, you could also use it for your kids' clothes. Like if you have one kid, two kids, or three kids, you could put like you know the the clothes in here and you could also fit a wet bag and um you could also use it as a purse it comes with two straps a long and a short strap and um you can attach it to the bag in different ways it has um d-rings it has d-rings on either side so um so this is the the nightmare before christmas be quick and then of course it comes with a, a jack skellington uh zipper pull so let's open the bag. There's a zipper. There's one zipper up here. So here's the back. The front, it has the logo plate. And here is, okay, so let's bring out first the, the straps. There's two straps. And then here's the lining. Love it. It has the giant snake on it. And then, of course, here are all um, the Nightmare Before Christmas characters. We'll do a close-up of the print after I show you also the this bag and the other bag. Um, so we'll discuss that later on um, all the characters. So I just wanted to show you the different features of the Be Quick. And so there's one zipper here. Oh, inside, I, I, I wanted to show you. There's also a zipper pocket inside. So let me put these down. So you see there's a zipper pocket inside. There, it's, it's a good size. So... When I pack this as um, a diaper clutch, I like to put uh, plastic baggies in here, you know, because you never know you're, you're outdoors and there's no trash can nearby. And um, 
you have a dirty diaper and so I, sometimes I use the plastic baggies to put the, the, the soiled diaper in. Um, so you can put like a lot of different things in there and then you can fit a pack of wipes, some diapers. You can fit so much diapers depending on the size. So the smaller the diaper, the more diapers you can fit into a Be Quick. I think um, you can fit like six to eight size two or you know like like small like newborn size diapers inside um and uh of course the larger the diaper the less diapers you can pack and also when your kid gets older you don't need as much diapers as when you know they, they you know when when the baby's like a, a newborn so um so it it uh it's it's just the right size for uh diapering essentials so I wanted to show you the two straps that come with the Be Quick. There is a short strap, it's this long, and then you can attach it to the Be Quick two ways. So as I said, there's D-rings on either side of uh, the Be Quick. So you can attach it like this and carry it as a handbag. You can carry it like that, like this, and then you can also attach it to, you can attach uh, the strap to just one side and it becomes a clutch. It becomes a diaper clutch. So you could carry it like that or you, you know, you could pack it in the bag and then pull it out by the strap. So those are the two ways to attach uh, the short strap to the Be Quick. And then, the new Be Quicks, um, beginning in 2019, um, it came with, it comes with a adjustable long strap. See how long it is? See how long it is? So there's a slider buckle. So you can make it really long. See how long it can get? It doesn't fit in the screen. And then you know you could wear, you could wear the Be Quick crossbody and look, you can make it really short. I'm making it super short. This is the shortest it could go. So at this length, my daughter, my four-year-old daughter could wear it um, as a shoulder bag. It could, it could fit kids. So, or you could wear it as a shoulder bag uh, for yourself. So I'm attaching it to the two D-rings on the side. So at the shortest length, I could actually use it as a shoulder bag for myself, see? So, of course, there's gonna be more weight, and uh, the more you use the strap, it's gonna like kind of like stretch out, because right now you, the strap looks all bent, because when you buy the bag, um, the straps are folded up like this, that's why there's like the creases, that's why there's creases, but the more you use the strap of um, the GGB straps for their pouches, they kind of like um, flatten out and straighten out over time. So, so it, here it's the, just the right length as a shoulder bag. And then I can lengthen the strap and use it as a uh, crossbody strap. So you could use it as a purse like that. Or when you're going to the restroom to change your baby, you could wear the, the, you could wear the, the be, be quick like this. And then you could, you don't need to like, set it down on the change table with your baby you know to save space you just wear it like this uh to the restroom and then you know you <laughs> change your baby and it's like hanging on you it's not gonna fall to the floor so it's uh this usually like um i would have to get the long strap of a juju bb set to attach to the b quicks but it's really great that juju b has now added these um adjustable long straps along with the short straps to go with the be quick so that's uh that's for the be quick let's go on to see uh the different features of the be pack okay now i'm going to show you the uh, juju b uh be packed in the disney juju b collaboration print the nightmare before christmas and uh so the be packed is uh for me it's a small backpack um, it's not as big as uh, the other uh, Jujube uh, backpack styles. So this backpack, it can fit, what I like about it, it can fit both an adult and a child. So it's, um, and it, it's, uh, so after you use it as a diaper bag, your child can use it for school later on. Um, it's a great size for elementary age kids. 
Um, here are the straps on the back. Right now, they're at the shortest length because my daughter wore it yesterday when we were out. So my daughter's four years old and she was able to um, wear uh, the bag. It's a, It was a bit like... Um, Maybe a little large on her, but it's it's definitely gonna grow with your child if you get it for them at uh, at this age. Um, for yourself, for adults, it's a great size. Um, if you feel that the other uh, GGB bag styles are too big, uh, try the B pack. It's just the right size to fit essentials, and it will keep you from overpacking if you have that feeling about you know about you know how your your packing style so it's not as big as the other bag styles it's just the right size um, to fit you know like just the basics for um, on the go so here is uh, the B pack as I said earlier we're gonna I'm gonna do a close-up of the print to show you the characters uh, right now I'll just show you the different features of the B pack so um, here's the B pack it has um, it has a mommy pocket in front. It has a main opening over here. It also has a uh, zipper tech pocket up here. Um, and it has two bottle pockets on each side. They're nice and stretchy. Um, let's discuss first the bottle pockets because um, every time I post something about the B-Pack, I would get a question about how are the bottle pockets? Are they stretchy? Like what bottles does it fit? So um, I have here two bottles just to demonstrate how stretchy the, um, the pockets are. Um, so this is a 17-ounce uh, bottle. So let's see. It fits nice and smooth in there. This is how it looks. So this is a 17-ounce bottle. It's a standard size bottle. It fits nicely here in, uh, in the B-Pack. And there's still some... Um, stretch see there's still some room it could go further so you could fit like um, a bigger bottle um i have here a um a 25 ounce bottle it's about um the width i mean the diameter of the bottle it's about as big as a wine bottle um so it's a, it's it's pretty big it's very tall so see it's 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 a little taller and i'll put it here in the other other pocket see it fits it's fine so there's there's less stretch left but I mean I think you could fit larger bottles um, so but I wouldn't go like too large because it will be see because it's a small backpack so if you put like a large water bottle it's gonna be like sticking out like that so I mean for me the best size to put in a B pack is this like maybe 16 or 17 ounce bottle and if you need to you could even fit a bigger bottle like this. So I, I wanted to show that first because it's one of the um, most repeated questions that I received about the B-Pack. So it's nice and stretchy like that. Um, so it's not insulated like uh, the, the other back, the other bigger backpacks. The, it's the, the bottle pockets are not insulated um, like the other bigger backpacks in uh, Jujubee's uh, product line, but if you use a bottle like those, those are thermal water bottles. They keep the water or, or the drinks cold or hot, so the it won't really matter. Um, you know, like the the insulation won't really matter in that case. Um, and then now let's go over to uh, the mommy pocket. So the B pack has a mommy pocket in front. It has a there's a jack zipper pull right there. And then I'll show you the lining. Ah, purple so pretty so oh by the way um so this print is uh black and spectral silver so ink black and spectral silver so from afar um from afar the the white spots i mean the white parts the lighter uh color of the print looks white it's actually um gray a very light gray and it's called spectral silver um we'll do a close-up of the print later um so here, so there. So and then the inside lining is a purple with a yellow, um, the giant snake in yellow. So this is the um, this is the mommy pocket of the B pack. It has two stretchy elasticized uh, mesh pockets. You can fit um, small set pieces inside here. And I think when I tried packing uh, the B pack, um, you can fit small set pieces in here and another in here. And then there's still space for like 
um, hand sanitizer or your car key. So um, it's a decent size. It's a good size uh, mommy pocket for the front. And then now let's, uh, I'll show you the, the top. There is, on the back of the grab handle, there is a tech pocket. So it has a Sally zipper pull. It is felt lined. You can put your phone, see it's nice and deep. This is how far my hand goes um, inside. It's nice and deep, it's felt lined. So here I could actually fish out the, the lining. So it's felt lined. It's great to put your phone, maybe camera, uh, like a small compact camera. Or um, um, I like to use this uh, tech pocket for sunglasses because it's nice and felt line and it keeps um, sunglasses from getting all scratched up instead of just you know throwing it in the bag so my, my favorite use for this tech pocket is actually for sunglasses and so that's for that and then um, before we go to the main compartment I'll show you the backpack straps I showed you um, I think I showed you a little earlier so right now it's at uh, the shortest setting my daughter was able to wear it um, yesterday when we were out and you can adjust it so it's a small backpack but it, it's good you know it's a good backpack size for kids so so that's how it looks like that let's see why it's so stretchy so it's a good backpack size for kids and adults can also wear it comfortably um, so it has these uh, little um, sliders over here and you just adjust the straps and they become longer. They become longer to fit an adult. Wait, let, me, let me do a quick on the body. So let me, okay, so let's do a quick on the body. So here's me wearing uh, the B-Pop. So see, it's, a, it's not big. It's just the right size to fit essentials. And then um, the back has a breathable mesh to keep you cool. The straps are nice and padded. And it also has um, breathable mesh on the back. And then um, I saw several posts, uh, people noticing this uh, D-ring over here. They're like, what's that? Um, uh, it's great to like attach, you know, like if your keys are on a, a carabiner clip, like you can attach your keys or you can attach your baby's toy, you know, like, you know, those like toys that you, 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 um, that have those, uh, rings. So you could clip that there. Um, you could attach, you know, sometimes water bottles have those, um, you, you could attach something to the water bottle so that it has like a little um, ring or hook or a hook so you could attach that here too. So, or, or maybe you could even put sunglasses in there. Um, but I do like to, to use this uh, top pocket for the sunglasses. So you could use it for different things. So it has that D ring over there. It's very useful. And then now let's go to the inside. So let's see. So the B packed has a double zipper. To the main compartment and it's a jack and sally zipper pull on the tech pocket it's a sally zipper pull and on the mommy pocket it's a jack zipper pull so here is the double zipper pull it's jack and sally let's open it up ah look at that lining oh i love it the contrast so it's black and silver gray, black and silver gray on the outside and inside is like a pop of color. It's purple with these, um, the giant snake in yellow. So, so there, that's the B pack. And I just want to note that um, the B pack for this release, The Nightmare Before Christmas, comes with a memory foam change pad. So here's the back pocket of the B pack. Here's the memory foam change pad. We're going to use it later when we do a close-up of the print. So I just wanted to emphasize that uh, the B-Pack doesn't normally come with a change pad. But for this release, it will come with a memory foam change pad. So it's nice and padded. Here it is. It's, so it's nice and padded change pad. And of course, like I said, um, Jujube bags are fully machine washable. You can throw the you can throw the change pad in the wash, throw the whole bag in the wash, and it comes out sparkling clean. 
So that's one thing that I really love about uh, Jujube. So here's the change pad, nice and padded. It already comes with the B pack. You see the full print on the change pad. We'll use it later to do a close up of the print. Um, and uh, so this converts the B pack into uh, a baby bag. Uh, it already comes with a change pad. You don't have to buy it separately. So here it is. And it fits nicely in that um, back pocket over here. Okay, so let's take it out so we can see more of the bag. So um, there's the inside of the bee pack. Okay, so the only two pockets inside are this elasticized uh, pocket down here. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Um, it can fit a laptop later on. So once you're done packing for your baby, you can use it for yourself, use it for work. Um, I have a 13 inch uh, long laptop. It fits nicely right in there. And it, if you see this one, so this is the, actually the tech pocket. So when you open up the zipper here, this is uh, the tech pocket. So if you put something in here, um, it would kind of bulk up. I usually just put tuck it in behind um, the elasticized pocket so it's kind of out of the way. And then, so you see the full print over here all the way down to the inside. And then the compartment is a good size. If you're familiar with uh, Jujube accessories, um, I can fit a B dapper all the way down on the bottom, so um, it's uh, it's nice and wide. I can also fit a fuel cell um, or uh, a B cool in there in the bag, and then the other pocket that's inside the main compartment is this one. There's a little um, like an accessory pocket there. This is how deep it is. Let's see. This is how deep it is. So I fit my hand in there. Um, you can fit like two small set pieces in there. Um, so that's the bead pack. You could put, um, let me see. Let's, I have here the be quick. So I could put the be quick in there. And then I have so much other space for um, other like uh, smaller items. So I can pack my baby's diapers, change of clothes, um, a baby blanket, a little lovey. And then when you're potty training, you could pack you know, the, the potty seat, extra clothes, wet bags, some snacks, maybe a coloring book in the back and oh, over here in this pocket. Um, it's, a, it's a really versatile um, backpack style. It's not too big, not too small, just right, just the right size. Um, and it's very comfortable to wear. Oh yeah, and it has this uh, padded grab handle on the top. So, you know, I could just carry it like this, like all around and... Um, and then it's 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 a great backpack. So um, if you're thinking of um, getting something in uh, the nightmare before Christmas print, print do consider a be packed and a be quick and and you're good. You you have a a set to uh, pack uh, your baby stuff. Now let's do a close up of uh, the different uh, details on uh, the nightmare before Christmas print. Um, so let's do a close-up of um, the logo plate. So the logo plate is a fabric. It's made of fabric. So here it is. And then um, it has this uh, embroidery, like silver embroidery, like um, outlining it. It has uh, the Disney logo and the GGB logo. And it has these spider webs on the corners. Love those details. And I think this is a bat. And then here are the Jack and Sally zipper pulls. Do a quick close-up. They are um, matte black. The hardware is matte black. Uh, they're etched, outline etched. So we have Jack. And then here's the back. It's Jack again. So it's, um, it's the same on the front and the back. And then here's Sally. So you see all the details, her hair. It's also the same on the front and the back, I guess, like... Her hair goes over here to the right on one side, and if it's flipped over, her hair goes to the left. Um, so you see her 
stitched mouth, the eye, the eye, the eye uh, lashes, and uh, the stitching. So it's so detailed. I love it. Um, the matte black hardware uh, suits this print so well. Um, and then, uh, so I just wanted to show you uh, those, uh, the zipper pull uh, details up close. Very nice. And then, now let's look at the change pad. I love the change pads because you can see the print very well. Um, so, the print features uh, Jack Skellington, Sally, and Oogie Boogie. They are in these frightening floating frames. Um, and what I love about Jujube prints is that it's so seamless how, you know, you don't see where... Uh, you don't see where the print starts or ends. It, it just goes on and on. So, so let's take a close-up of uh, Jack. So this is uh, the frame that has Jack in it. So here there's like some bones because he's the bone daddy. Um, and then these are, uh, these are the gates to his, to Halloween Town that has these pumpkins on it. Then there are the bats again. And then there's these um, four uh, circles um, on the top, to the left, to the right, and the bottom. So here we have Oogie Boogie. This is Sally. And then this is a Scary Teddy or Vampire Teddy. And then this is uh, Zero. That's Zero. I, uh, several have been asking where Zero is. So that's Zero right there. So you can see his face. You can see his sheet and his ears and um, his jack-o'-lantern nose right there. And then uh, you got the spider webs and like creepy stuff. And so this is frame. So this is Jack, this is Jack's frame. So now let's go over to Sally. So this is uh, the frame that has Sally in it. She's holding um, her, the flowers. And then here are, you know, the flowers that she likes to pick um, the, the petals off. And then there's also these, um, round little frames on the top, bottom, and the sides. So here there's uh, Jack Skellington. And then this is the spiral hill with Sally and Jack at the end of the movie. And then this is Dr. Finkelstein. So Dr. Finkelstein is Sally's creator. So he's like the mad scientist in Halloween Town. And here is the deadly nightshade that she likes to use um, to... Uh, to poison Dr. Finkelstein so she can she can escape. Um, so this is the frame around Sally. So so that's uh, the Sally frame. Now let's go to Oogie Boogie. So this is Oogie Boogie's frame. So he also has um, like circular frames on the top, the bottom, and the sides. So this is Oogie Boogie, the bad guy in the film. Um, so here we have Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Over here, these are their masks. And then there's a spider over here. And up there is Jack Skellington. And then over here, I guess, I think it's Oogie Boogie in the Moon, the, the boogeyman in the moon. And then I love all the details of the prints. So here you see like little bugs. All Oogie Boogie, the bugs that are underneath Oogie Boogie's sheet. So those are the bugs. And then he likes to gamble. So here are the dice. And then here are um, the spade, the heart, the diamond, so like the, you know, the card game. So he likes to play that gambling roulette game in the movie and like other creepy stuff. And there's also the snake um, outlining his frame. Lots of details on this print. Um, it's very nicely done. It's very nicely done. So there it is. So that is the Nightmare Before Christmas print. Love it. And then I showed you uh, the lining um, in the bags earlier. So here it is on uh, the change pad uh, really quickly. So it's a purple. The lining is purple. And um, there's uh, the giant snake featured um, uh, as little lines on, on, on the print. It's yellow. So the color is like... It's a, it's a yellow snake. So there, that's for uh, the close-up of the print and the zipper pulls. Now let's go over to a uh, print comparison.
watching my video and I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment uh, down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you like my video, please hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to see more um, Jujube content, on the body photos, packing photos, uh, print matching ideas, head over to my Instagram at Ria Supermama. I will post a link down below as well. Um, so till the next time, bye-bye.